I've decided I'm becoming a figure skater. Hi. I'm gonna sit in the snow and talk to you guys. Hey guys, it's Luna. I'm sitting here in the snow, which is new scenery for me. It just occurred to me that my dream in life has always been to be a figure skater. I've never really dove into it. So as soon as I get home, I'm doing figure skating lessons and I wanna take you guys along this whole journey because I have always been obsessed with the art, the sport. It's very similar to ballet, but also very much not. I'm scared. I'm definitely really scared. I don't like getting hurt or falling, but I'm sure that's inevitable. But I wanna like fully dive into it. I wanna get the full like outfit, the skates, my own pair, all my figure skaters out there. Welcome to this little series. Oh. That's not good. Just made that decision. So I'm currently on a ski trip right now, but as soon as I get home, we're diving into figure skating. Okay guys, that's the deal. Goodbye. Hi, I'm home now from the snow. And if you thought I was kidding about being a figure skater, I wasn't. And I actually have a lesson tomorrow. I'm very ready, I'm inspired. Let's sit down and chat for a sec. I think my whole figure skating inspiration came from watching the Olympics, obviously, the Winter Olympics growing up, because my family was always very into winter sports, like skiing and all that. So I would always watch the figure skating. And I remember vividly when I was younger, there was this one girl, I think it was in the Beijing like 2014 Olympics, named Yulia Lipnitskaya, and she had this one solo, and like at the end she like pulled her leg and like, did this, I don't even know. I remember so vividly. So we're gonna watch that together because I think that was like my main inspo. She was so good. Oh, it was the Sochi Olympics, sorry. Okay, here we go. Yulia Lipnitskaya, you guys, she's the one. She actually fades off the pressure. Feel that. Awful lot of I remember the beginning, this look. She looks over her shoulder. Three, two, one, and look. <laughs> I've watched this video so many times. Oh. Wow. It looks so freeing. Yes. Triple Lutz. Triple Lutz. Toe. Triple toe. It's about to be me, you guys. I'm so excited. How does she do that? She makes it look so easy. Oh, I love this. 15. She's 15. Wait, this part? Oh my god. How did she do that? Oh, I've always wanted to do this. Turn. Wow. Oh. That turn got me, and then at the end, she does this thing. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Ready? This part. And she just goes, she knows. Okay, so yeah, that was my biggest inspo growing up. I was like, I wanna do that. There's so many and like every Olympics, I'm just like on the edge of my seat. I wanna do it. Like, I don't care. Obviously I'm not gonna ever probably be able to do anything in there like that, but I just wanna try it because what's holding me back? Nothing. I have my first lesson tomorrow with actually a family friend that um, used to pro figure skate So she's going to help me out. I'm so excited. I will see you tomorrow for my first lesson Okay, for my first figure skating Lesson outfit. I just got this little like top from Lululemon that is super cozy I'm wearing Lululemon yoga pants because I feel like skaters don't really wear a yoga pant type thing like until I Get my actual figure skating yoga pants. What I wish I had is like one of those like Lululemon like tight athletic jackets. I used to have one. I don't know where it went. I also bought a pink headband. Like I don't know what I'm using this for, but like we're going all out. I am kind of scared. I don't know if I'm getting a fitting today necessarily. I don't know what the deal is today. We'll see, I guess. Does this look ugly? I look kind of ridiculous. <laughs> where am I going? I'm going to like an 80s workout. Who am I right now? I'm scared. Ah! I'm literally like, I'm making myself look like I'm bad, which I shouldn't be doing. Like I should be confident. Like I look like an amateur. Why do I look like I'm doing Zumba aerobics? Let's just go. I look like an egg. This headband is not it. We're here 
here now. I'm so excited. Everyone looks so good. It's like the open skate, basically. What they were explaining to me back there is rental skates are always like pretty bad because people walk on the pavement, it's like everyone shares them, they also don't want to make them as sharp because they don't want people to get hurt. So I guess it makes the world of difference to have your own skates, so that is going to be happening soon. I have to get a fitting for my own pair of boots. For now we're using this, so I'm literally terrified. I feel like there's definitely a certain way I should tie these and I'll wait for these. But. <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd finally be here? You guys, Lisa watched me grow up. She was my neighbor. And I've always wanted to do a figure skating with her because she, I'm gonna insert clips, she's a pro. As pro as you can get, that's Lisa. Okay, I have to show you. <laughs> yeah, I figured that there's definitely something I'm supposed to do. Oh, that looks so fun. Lisa was just telling me that on a hot day, you can't fit your skates or to better fit your skates. You should stand on the ice for like five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, three to five minutes. Three to five minutes to shrink your feet. And that's genius because sometimes in summer intensives, I couldn't get my feet into my point shoes. I just needed to stand on some ice. That's all I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot like ballet. Anyway. But not really, but kind of. Well, you already have such an awareness of your body. Yeah, that's true. And it's just a different kind of point shoe. I need to get the cool, like, pants that they wear with, like, the stripes down the leg. Okay, guys, we're doing this. <laughs> okay, the second I got on the ice, it obviously felt pretty good. Oh my god, look at Lisa. Look at her go. She's insane. But yeah, I've obviously been ice skating before, so I know how to ice skate. I'm not going to be like falling all over the place, but it's just like the technical things and trying to look good while doing it. Like, I feel like in these clips, I look like such a beginner, which I hate, but she's basically just showing me how I should have my posture and my arms for skating. And then here she's teaching me how to properly skate by like pushing off each foot. Um, using your edges, which I have learned. Um, rental skates clearly do not have edges. They don't want people getting hurt with sharp blades. So obviously it's crucial to get your own, which I am going to get. I'm just kind of learning for now. So she's teaching me how to properly skate. And then here she's teaching me how my arm should always be at a 90 degree angle. I tend to have my back arm go a little bit farther back, which kind of throws me off. So she was just kind of teaching me. And then she was trying to teach me how to do crossovers, which is like the most common thing, obviously, in ice skating that you should learn, which is just like taking your top foot over and then push. But I couldn't quite get that yet, but we come back to that later. And then this is funny here. She's trying to teach me how to stop by doing like a T with my skates, but I just kept spinning. I don't know why it did not work for me. I really tried and I just kept spinning. Like if you look at Lisa here, she does a little plie and stops immediately. And then I try and I'm like, you can't. I just start spinning, but <laughs> we get it. We get it later. Oh, I'm cramping. Cramping? My arches. My feet just hurt the whole time. <laughs> and then we started doing these kind of out in motion move. I, I really don't know the terminology and I should, but this came naturally to me going forward. And then she tried to make me go backwards and it didn't quite work, but these were fun. It's crazy how kind of like ballet, you can watch back a video and see exactly what you're doing wrong. Like clearly my whole entire torso was not like leveled on top of my hips. I just like clearly was gonna fall over. So knowing that, going back, I'm sure I will not make that same mistake. I don't know why me doing that looks so funny. I just look so amateur. I hate it. And then this is her telling me that clearly if my arm and torso are not right, I'm not gonna have the right balance to be able to do any tricks. So. Just reiterating that and remembering that that's what's going to help me the most. And then here is where I really started understanding the whole crossover situation. It started coming more naturally to me and I felt a little bit safer. Um, so I was happy about that. I feel like that was like the one thing I really wanted to master on my first lesson. Then she was just trying to make me a little bit more comfortable with turning. I guess they call it spinning in figure skating, but she was just doing this. I literally felt like I was going so fast and it looks so slow here, but it was so 
fun. Then she just tried to teach me how to get into just a simple spin in figure skating. I randomly would do this figure skating growing up and I could actually do it, but it's so different because in ballet you're taught to spot, meaning that you focus on one thing and you snap your head around each turn. But in figure skating, you're not supposed to do that. So I just could not get the hang of that with my head. You can see that that's what's messing me up. But honestly, I'm proud of myself. Like I was able to do some spins um, and that was so fun to me. But obviously nothing compared to Lisa who was just spinning galore over here. It looks so fun. I cannot wait till I get to do that. These are Lisa skates. They are $900 with the blades. And we're gonna try and see the difference. This is the most painful of the country. Okay, Guys, so here we go. Be careful. The real boots. Ow! Okay, in case you didn't hear anything I just said, basically Lisa and I swapped so that I could kind of feel what it's like to have a real ice skate. And let me tell you, it made the world of difference. It felt so good. I could actually feel the edges of my skate and have way more movement. Okay, and then here is where things take a turn while editing. I realized that two men sitting next to my camera that clearly didn't realize I was recording audio as well decided to talk about me. And it is absolutely disgusting. And what they do is swap out skates and shit. As soon as she put on the, the other skates, it's like, okay, now you got edges. Let's experiment. All of that dialogue was fine. They were just, you know, very perceptive in what I was doing in my little experiment. But then it takes a crazy turn, and I just cannot believe my ears. Why? It sounds like they're not skates. It's a skate. I haven't been watching it. Yeah, it's hard not to pay attention. <laughs> oh, I hear that. But it's like the other girl, you know, she's like not naked. She's like only 15. Like, she, looks like she's, she looks like she's 15, but she's probably... Like when you're young, especially if you're like a woman, you're going to probably express your sensuality and all this stuff. Well, I try not to look as, I'm assuming everyone here is uh, too young. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm 52. So I'm like over the hill. You know, I could dream, but that's all it is. I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't because it's, you know, it's, it's not good. I'm 52. I'm over the hill. I'm married. I'm literally sitting here editing this video. I did not know that was in this footage, but I am so disturbed. I can't believe I got that conversation on film. The fact that he goes about and says it's hard not to pay attention, that I am half naked. Literally most of my body's covered. I'm not half naked. Saying that I look 15, but like maybe I'm 17 and that he like, a man can dream. He's 52, but like, and he know he shouldn't. It's probably wrong, but like look at me and, and say that I'm expressing my sexuality. I'm like, what are you saying? Like I'm so innocent just trying to do a little figure skating and that has to happen like that whole time these men are just analyzing me and sexualizing me in a way like the young girls that are actually minors that are there that like these guys are thinking the same thing if they thought, thought I was 15 I can't even imagine it's so fucked up it literally makes me want to throw up and it sucks because now I don't really want to go back there and wear like yoga pants it's like now I'm gonna go back there and wear baggy clothing because of that happened you know it's so messed up it's just sad that us girls have to go through stuff like that but I still had a good time I figure skated away I was completely unaware of the situation that makes it even more disgusting I wish I could just slap them in the face but maybe one day uh. thank you okay guys it's enough for today I'm craving uh. okay let's go Despite what went on, I had such a good time at my first figure skating lesson. I learned how to properly skate, tried to learn how to stop. That didn't really work out. I did these things, which were so fun. Backwards, not so much, but we're getting them. I'm happy I learned how to do the crossovers, though. That was, like, my main thing I wanted to learn. And then, of course, the spins, the turns. I think figure skating is just absolutely stunning and requires so much mental and physical work that I just cannot wait to see where it takes me. This is the first of many lessons, and I can't wait for you guys to come on this journey with me. I love you guys. To the moon and back, and I will see you next week. Bye.